Rosie's Rescue Rosie the Rosiest Spoonbill Written by Edward Ritz and illustrated by Jan Oliver It's a sunny day in Florida. Hundreds of pink, roseate spoonbills dance in the sky. They sail over hammocks. They circle over sawgrass. They soar over marshes. Finally, two of the spoonbills find a tiny island of mangrove trees. They build a nest. The nest is big and strong. It will keep the clutch of three speckled spoonbill eggs safe. Little birds grow slowly inside the eggs. Suddenly, a peep! A baby spoonbill pecks out of its shell. Rosie is hatched. Beside her are two other eggs. Soon, peep, peep! Two more baby spoonbills, Robert and Roger, are hatched. For six weeks, the little baby birds eat shrimp and little fish fed to them by their parents. The birds are nestled in the mangrove tree. One day, the sky grows dark and clouds form on the horizon. It starts to thunder and lightning. It starts raining. The rain falls hard and the wind blows strong. The strong wind blows harder and even harder. The waves sweep across the tiny island. Whoosh! The wind blows the nest out of the mangrove tree with the little birds still in the nest. The nest turns upside down and over and over and around in circles. Suddenly, the nest falls from the sky and lands in the water. Rosie looks around, but is all alone. She calls for her family, ee, ee, but no one answers. Rosie's parents try to find the baby spoonbills. They look and look and look until dark. Scared, lost, all alone, Rosie is fighting for survival. Rosie spends all night alone, bobbing in the water. The morning sun begins to rise, and she sees a small boat and cries out, Ee, ee. A fisherman finds the baby spoonbill splashing in the water and scoops her out with a net. Rosie is barely alive. She is very cold. The fisherman takes good care of her and keeps her warm. He puts her in a little box and wraps her in a fluffy blanket. Rosie spends several weeks at the rescue center getting strong. Ee, ee, ee. One day she hears a familiar sound. Ee, 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 she calls back. It is her brothers, Roger and Robert. They were rescued too. Soon, they are all released from the bird rescue center. They fly back to the Florida bays and mangroves. As time passes, the little bird joins hundreds of other beautiful roseate spoonbills. They dance in the sky. They sail over hammocks. They circle over sawgrass. They soar over marshes. Rosie finds a mate. They find a tiny island and build a very strong nest in a mangrove tree. The end. Here's a vocabulary list of words that are used in the story.
Here are other things to know about the roseate spoonbill. Here's a page about the author, Edward Ritz, and the illustrator, Jan Oliver. Also, here's a phone number that you can call to place an order for the book to be sent to your house.